The drain pump removes water from the washer during the drain cycle. If your washer won't drain, you can replace the drain pump using the steps in this video. Drain water out of the washer tub using a wet-dry shop vacuum. Wear work gloves to protect your hands. Now let's get started. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws on the back of the washer that secure the top panel. Gently pull the top panel toward the back of the washer and lift it up and off. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw on the back of the control panel. The screw is on the right side as you face the front of the washer. Release the locking tab at the back of the dispenser drawer and then pull it completely out of the dispenser housing. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws on each side of the dispenser housing. Unplug the wire harness connections for the control panel by pressing on the release tabs and sliding the connections apart. Stand in front of the washer and lift up on the control panel to release the top. Pull the control panel off the washer. Open the drain pump filter cover at the bottom of the washer front panel. Remove the screws that secure the plastic pump housing to the frame of the washer. Remove the plastic pump housing. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the mounting screw from the bottom of the front panel. Use the outer spring pliers to expand the spring clamp and remove it from the door boot. Release the rubber door boot from the lip around the opening to the washer tub on the front panel. Remove all of the screws from the top of the front panel. Close the washer door. Tip the top of the front panel out and disconnect the wire harness from the door lock assembly. Pull the front panel off the washer. Place a shallow drain pan in front of the washer. Remove the plug from the small drain hose on the pump body to drain any water remaining in the pump body and washer tub. Reinstall the small drain hose plug and move the drain pan out of the way after draining the water. Place a towel under the pump body hoses to catch water that may spill out when you disconnect them. Use pliers to release the spring clamp and pull the drain hose off the pump body. Repeat the process to pull the recirculation hoses off the pump body. Release the spring clamp and remove the tub to pump hose from the pump body. Pull the wire harness connections off the drain pump and the recirculation pump. Release the wires from the tie backs on the drain pump. Remove the bolts that secure the drain pump to the washer base. Remove the pump body and set it on a work surface. Don't forget to remove the towel from the washer. Remove the drain pump mounting screws and pull the drain pump out of the pump body. Insert the new drain pump into the pump body and reinstall the mounting screws. Reinstall the pump body in the washer base and secure it with the mounting bolts. Reconnect the wires to the new drain pump and the recirculation pump. Route the wires through the tie backs on the drain pump. Reconnect the tub to pump hose and secure it with the spring clamp. Reconnect the recirculation hoses on the pump body and secure them with the hose clamps. Reconnect the drain hose to the pump body and secure it with the hose clamp. Put the front panel in position and reconnect the wire harness. Lift the front panel onto the frame and line up the mounting screw holes at the top. Insert the mounting screws at the top of the front panel and tighten them firmly. Position the door boot around the lip of the opening in the front door panel. Secure the door boot with the spring clamp. Insert the screw into the bottom base of the washer in the opening for the pump housing and tighten it. Push the drain pump filter housing into the front panel recess. Reinstall the mounting screws and tighten them firmly. Close the drain pump filter housing door. Position the control panel on the top of the front panel. Reinstall the screws in the dispenser housing. Reinstall the screw in the back right side of the control panel. Plug in the wire harness connections for the control panel. Push the detergent dispenser back into the drawer housing. Push the panel down and forward to seat it on the washer frame. Reinstall the screws to secure it in place. Avoid over-tightening. Plug the washer into the electrical outlet. 